Welcome back. Dude, I totally am better. I made a complete recovery. And I'm back better than ever. I don't know if that's true, but I'm, n I'm not gonna deny the fact that I am back. I was sicker than a bitch. You know, just a gallon of NyQuil and you'll be fine. Actually, that's not true. I just woke up today. I thought that I drank the NyQuil a half an hour ago. I just found out I've been sleeping for a week. And I'm pissed. There's a bunch of redcoats running through my front yard, like the Civil War all over again. The Civil War, I mean, I can't even, I better not go back into history because I know nothing about it. Anyways, thanks for your wishes on me getting better. I'm better now. It worked. Thanks. Pretty nice. It was very fucking thoughtful. Whatever that means. You know what? I think I'm going to buy a new chair today. This fucking thing's broken. I fall down in my chair a lot. I do it all the fucking time. Hell, I've fallen in my chair three or four times and I haven't even shown you. You can only fall down in your chair so much and then it just gets fucking old. Chris Farley. Rest in peace. I like that dude, man. He's funny and fat. Anyways, somebody asked me if I, uh... Everybody has been asking me. What do you think about weed? Is it that obvious? I try to play it off like I've never smoked weed in my life. Is it truly that obvious? Whatever, you know. True story. I'm not going to mention any names, but my cousin, he knows who he is. We were out at his house in the valley. We were smoking weed. We were smoking lots of weed. In fact, I got so high, I was sitting there in a recliner. As I'm falling asleep, I thought I was slowly dying. Truth is, I was just getting higher. Sitting there, doing nothing, not even smoking, I was getting higher. I thought I died. My cousin was so high, he's like, I need to get higher. What do I do to get higher? So he thought, I'm gonna take a little piece of weed, about that big. He threw it in the broiler in his oven, and he cooked it. Now, I've heard of people cooking weed before. Isn't dope supposed to fucking make you creative? Some people take their weed and they'll throw it in brownies or in a cake or cupcakes or uh, fucking spaghetti. That would be gross. He's like, you know what, man? I'm gonna cook the weed and I'm gonna throw it on a piece of bread with butter. That's it, nothing else, just butter and bread. And he did. This guy, he left the room after I fell asleep in my death sleep that I thought I was having. I wake up from my death nap and I go in to the room where he was. This room was emptied out. Nobody lived in this room. This room was completely emptied out. Carpet. That's it. Carpet. He was laying on the ground with his head straight up facing the ceiling. Right when I opened the door. <laughs> puke. Shot out of his mouth. And onto the ground beside him. That was fucking funny. Scott. I know I wasn't going to say his name. I won't say his full name. There's a bunch of Scots in the world. Who knows what Scott I'm talking about. It's not like I said Parsons. Another true story. This same guy, I'm going to keep him anonymous still, was at my house, well, me and my friend's house. We were on the Riley block. Same dude got so high. He was laying on the bed, using the wall as a pillow. So his neck is jammed like this at a 90 degree angle the whole time. Smoke ass loads of weed. He's so high, he's really happy, you know, he's having a good old time, and then all of a sudden he just gets this pissed off look on his face. And he says, I think I broke my neck. <laughs> he really thought he broke his fucking neck. He was just cramping. And really, really high. That was just fucking funny. That was really funny. I need some coffee. Me and my dad were smoking some dope one time. I got so high, my mouth was closing. I thought my mouth was closing and it wasn't gonna open up again. Why? Because I couldn't fit my whole fist in my mouth. Who can? I was like, what the fuck? I can't fit my goddamn fist in my mouth. Something's wrong with me. I cannot fit my whole fist in my mouth. Or, I was high. That's all it was. True story, so what do I think about it? It'll make you high. That's my opinion. Yeah. Coffee is so good, man. I am so happy that I have my coffee bag. 
it's been so long, I'm just like fucking overwhelmed. I'm over it. I'm just gonna throw this out here. I'm gonna whore out our other MySpace page really quick. Uh, the FAF page, the number one friend on my friends list. Go ahead and check them out. We made some music on there. I fucking think it's funny. I'm drooling. I missed my coffee. It has been forever. I've missed it so much, I wanna fucking snort the coffee itself. I wanna <laughs> snort it to get it in my system quicker. This is gonna rock, I'll be right back. I'm gonna snort some coffee. Why? Because I think that it will make me happy. Get it up in the corner of the plate here. <coughs> Did that just happen? <coughs> yeah, man, that's the best fucking thing ever. Woo! <coughs> oh, look at that. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. No, it didn't have that effect on me, actually. It was just like snorting anything. I've snorted a lot of things. I've snorted hot mustard. I've snorted so much pepper. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until the next time, I'll be thinking about you. I'll be thinking about all you. I'll be thinking about you in ways that you don't want me to. But I'm gonna do it. I'm almost done with this bitch. I'm gonna finish it with you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I got almost all the chocolate this time. Until the next cup of coffee. Ugh.